everyone. We're here together for another episode of our podcast. And today I would like to share with you some tricks about how to get ready for a dinner with friends without spending all of your day cooking and then not even enjoying the company you are going to be with. So if you are like me and love to have people over for dinner and you also work for the majority of the day, the best way I found to organize for a dinner with friends is to make what I call a battle plan. And uh, in that case, I decide like a week before what I want to prepare and I uh, set up shopping depending on what I need. So dryer goods, you can buy them well ahead of time. Uh, more perishable things need to be bought closer to the date of the dinner. And after asking all of my friends if they have any allergies, if they have any intolerances, if there are things that they don't like, I set the menu. And then at that point, I write down on a piece of paper what the menu is, all of the ingredients I need, what I already have in the house, what I need to buy, when I am going to buy them, depending on when I use them. And then I, on the same piece of paper or a different one, I start writing down three, four days or five, depending on what you're preparing again. And then I write on all of those days um, what I am going to prepare that day. So um, if the meal includes hard boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs last quite a long time in your refrigerator. And as long as you actually leave them in their shell and in an airtight container. So that's something that can be done well ahead of time. If you're making bruschetta or crostini, you can actually slice the bread and then put it in a Ziploc bag or a double Ziploc bag and freeze it. So that's taken care of. All you have to do the day of is to toast the bread. If you were making something like a Tuscan crostini pate, that one too can be made two, three, four days before the, the dinner. Tiramisu, for instance, must be made the day before. Um, let me think. The frittata rolls I talked about an episode or two ago, that can be made, the frittata itself can be made three or four days before, then you wrap it in plastic, keep it in the fridge, and then the day before or a day or two before then, you can fill it, wrap it, well, roll it, wrap it, and put it back in the fridge. Um, if you are make, if you're going to make a, the tuna, topped meat that too can be made a day or two before actually at least a day before it's way better because all the flavors combine um, if you're cooking the meat then the meat can be cooked an extra day or two before so there are a lot of things that can be done ahead of time things that cannot be made ahead of time is cooking pasta if you're serving a warm pasta dish but if you're making say lasagna you can prep it the day before and then finish cooking it the day of um, if you're making a rice salad the rice can be cooked two days before and the dressing let's call it dressing can be made the day before and then you assemble everything again that will be much better tasting the day of if you make it the day before 
um, things that cannot be made well ahead in advance are seasoning a salad. I mean, you cannot dress a salad ahead of time. I wouldn't make a caprese ahead of time. On the other hand, you can make roasted or steamed bell peppers and then um, let them marinate, if you pass me the term, with the Italian green sauce, which is a mix of parsley, anchovies, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, depending on where you are, sometimes there are some pickled um, cucumbers, sometimes there are uh, hard boiled eggs, so depending on where you are from. Then something else that can be made ahead of time, let's say you want to serve meatballs, fine. Those can be made two or three days ahead of time. Um, meat rolls, same thing. It can be made at least a day or two ahead of time. All of this will allow you to spend as little time as possible the day of cooking or prepping and spend as much time as possible with your friends and enjoying the company you are with. So if you do have any other suggestions, any other tricks, just write them in a comment and I will answer um, for sure. Maybe not immediately, but I will answer for sure. And I hope you will give this idea a try and you will let me know what your thought is. So I will see you soon with another episode of our podcast. Ciao.